Hi there, I'm Rebecca and I work as a private chef specializing in raw food. Today I'm working for you and we're going to show you how to make chia chips. The best chips I've tasted since I went raw in 2001. Very simple and full of so many nutrients. Okay, so we've got about a cup of uh, chia seeds here. And what I've done is pureed some fresh salsa. So you just mix these together, the salsa and the chia seeds. Just stir them up. So the chia seeds are moist, and then chia seeds are naturally gelatinous, so they're going to be uh, nice and moist, and make sure it's well mixed. There's no more dry spots in there. Scoop out a little bit. I guess that's about a teaspoon or less. And uh, I'm putting this on the dehydrator tray on the Teflex sheet, and just with my fingers, I'm pounding it down so it's going to be nice and flat. Okay, and if you want your chip a little smaller, then uh, I'd say maybe half a teaspoon. And then once again, just with your fingers, just pound it down. All the flavor is going to come from the salsa, but of course, if you want to make chia chips, you don't have to use any flavoring, or you can use, I don't know, pesto sauce or whatever sauce you prefer for flavored chips. Then uh, that's about it. That's, and you can also make tostada shells if you want to make it a little bit bigger. But these chips are very nutritious. Um, here's a book that I highly recommend, The Magic of Chia, because it talks about how it helps you if you're vitamin D deficient, um, postmenopausal, or just want a lot of minerals in your diet. And uh, this is basically what the finished product looks like. Very tasty, very crunchy. Like I said, the best chips I've ever made, bar none. If you want to find out more about what I do, I have a website called Magic Carpet Cuisine. There's no spaces when you go to the URL, so it's just magiccarpetcuisine.com. Hope to see you there. Thanks.